For those of you following along in the catalogs, the placings from the Brown Swiss Senior Two-Year-Old Cow Class are as follows. Entry 2821, placed fourth, was also the first place junior and projection award winner. Tara Rose Cliff Shasta, owned and exhibited by Adele Biasini of Morrisville, Vermont. Entry 2823 placed sixth. Entry 2824 was seventh. Entry 2829, Hilltop Acres DD Jade was the fifth place cow and second junior. And owned and exhibited by Brayton Ryland and Camden Nearman of Brownstown, Indiana. Entry 2833, winner of the class and bred and owned was Cutting Edge N. Shrill, owned and exhibited by Ken Main of Kapoki, New York. Entry 2835, place ninth. Entry 2840, Hills Valley Carter Flirty was the third place cow in the class, owned and exhibited by Peter Vale of Englewood, Florida. And entry 3013, Twin Hollow Daredevil Blue was the second place entry in the class and received the best uttered award, owned and exhibited by Ken Main of Kopaki, New York. In the ring now is the junior three-year-old Brown Swiss cow class. The first place award and bread and owned award is presented by Royal Hill Swiss, Don Graft of Fort Wayne, Indiana. Production awards in this class are presented by World Dairy Expo. And the best uttered cow will receive a rosette courtesy of Cattle Connection, Steins, the Netherlands. And our junior award in the junior three-year-old cow class is presented by Commodity Blenders LLC of West Salem, Ohio. And for more placings, you can visit World Dairy Expo's website, worlddairyexpo.com.
placings are now complete in our Brown Swiss Junior three-year-old cow class. At this time, we'd like to recognize our junior entries. Second place junior is entry 2866, cutting edge W Famous ETV, exhibited by Emmett Smithling of Stanley, New York. That's the way, give them a hand, folks. Winning junior entry in this class is entry 2861, Cruzy's LJ Fab Schuyler ET, exhibited by Cole and Carter Cruzy of Dyersville, Iowa. The production award winner in this class is entry 2859, Art Hurst Cade Panda P, exhibited by Bridget R. Achterberg of Fenimore, Wisconsin. She had at two years, one month, 305 days, 25,316 pounds of milk with a 4-1 test, 1,034 of fat, 3-3 three, three of protein, and 829 pounds of protein. Third place in this class goes to entry 2861. She is Cruzy's LJ Fab Schuyler, exhibited by Car Cole and Carter Cruzy of Dyersville, Iowa. Second place to R&R Durham Alley, exhibited by Kaylee Cherry of Wooster, Ohio. And we'd like to recognize our bread and owned winner at this time. She is entry 2846, Random Luck Victory Rose, exhibited by Allison Thompson of Darlington, Wisconsin. And your winning entry in this class is entry 2853. She also wears the best udder. She is Hilltop Acres Dynamite Daphne ET, exhibited by Fairdale Farm LLC of Worthville, Kentucky. Congratulations. That's right, give them a round of applause. Another great class. Um, different kinds of cows here in the first few spots. This first cow leading out, there are a lot of reasons to like her. The length of her tail is not one of those reasons. She goes over the cow in second. Clear advantage in depth of seam today. Uh, much leveler on the floor of her udder. You can see them lead out the cow in first. Uh, so much stronger across the top line. Uh, cleaner down through the thigh, just so much more length and stretch to this cow in, sec in first over the cow in second. Cow in second obviously has a, uh, a mail order rear udder on her. You never will ever see one that wide and that high, but just a little bit too much milk in her today, giving away a little on the seam. Uh, she goes over the cow behind her because she's got a little bit more strength and power, especially through the front end, uh, more depth to her rib and also more uh, width to the rear udder than the cow in third. Like the femininity on the cow in third, maybe just a little bit more udder than the cow can handle, uh, but a nice clean feminine cow, big wide rear udder, uh, just not quite enough power to go along with everything else. She goes over the next cow, she's so much more open in her rib than this little dark cow. Dark cow in front of me is kind of a no holes cow uh, everywhere you look, she uh, looks pretty good. Uh, you just don't have this extra wow factor to her that some of the other cows have. And she goes over a cow that we moved up quite a bit. Uh, she's just leveler on the floor of the udder than this white cow in front of me. And she goes over the next cow, uh, more desirable in teeth size and shape, also cleaner through the hocks than this big wide rear uttered cow going out next. And that cow, uh, in front of this great big powerhouse cow, just uh, so much deeper in her seam today than the cow leading out. Great class, congratulations. 